Matith Yahu, Matthew 14. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch hath heard of the fame of Yahusha, and said unto his servants, This is Yahuchanan, the Immerser. He is risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on Yahuchanan and bound him and put him in prison for Herodias' sake. His brother Philip's woman. For Yahuchanan said unto him, It is not lawful for you to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she said, being before instructed of her mother, rather, and she, being before instructed of her mother, said, Give me here Yahuchanan Immerser's head in a charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless for the oath's sake, and them which sat with him to eat, he commanded it to be given her. And he sent and beheaded Yahuchanan in the prison, and his head was brought in a charger and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his Talmudim came and took up the body and buried it and went and told Yahusha. When Yahusha heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Yahusha went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. And when it was evening, his Talmudim came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Yahusha said unto them, They need not depart, give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fish. He said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass, and took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke, and gave the loaves to his Talmudim, and the Talmudim to the multitude. And they did all eat, and were filled. And they took up of the fragments that remained twelve baskets full. And they that had eaten were about five thousand men, beside women and children. And straightway Yahusha constrained his Talmudim to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahusha went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the Talmudim saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a ruach, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Yahusha spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. And Kepha answered him and said, Adonai, if it be you, 
bid me come unto you on the water. And he said, Come. And when Kepha was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahusha. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Adonai, save me! And immediately Yahusha stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O you of little belief, wherefore did you doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, you are the son of Elohim. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Kinaroth, rather, Kineroth. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about, and brought unto him eth all that were diseased, and besought him that they might only touch the zitzit of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole.